okay so welcome back and in this video we will look at how to solve practical problems using the concept of algebraic equations in fact you will find out that the applications of algebra are widespread in day-to-day -day life you just are limited by your imagination on how to use it to solve your practical problems it's a very useful field of maths having practical applications now let us start with simple problems and leave the difficult problems for your higher grades so the first problem says that the sum of three times three times a number and 11 is 32 find the number okay let's look at the statement again three times the number I don't know the number so I can assume that that number is X and the sum of three times that X and 11 is 32 and we have to find the number so the first step is to come up with an equation then only we can find a solution so if you look at the statement we convert this into an equation we say that 3 times x plus 11 gives me 32 now this is the equation that we form from the statement now how do we go about solving this we can use the transpose method which we have covered in the earlier videos so we will be transposing this 11 which is on the left hand side to the right hand side and in transposing if you remember we simply change the sign of this number so it becomes 3x equals 32 minus 11 or we when we subtract this 32 minus 11 is 21 right now we can divide both the sides of this equation that is the left hand side and the right hand side by 3 now if you remember the strategy that we are following it's trying to isolate this X such that we get the solution so when I divide both of them by 3 left hand side and right hand side what I get on the left hand side is X equals 21 by 3 which is 7 so I can say that x equals 7 is the solution of this equation but then the question was asked to us is that the sum of three numbers is 3 times the number is 11 32 the number so you can say that the number is 7 now it is a good practice that we check the solution right we check the solution the way we check the solution is to substitute the value in the original equation this equation which we had let's say this equation 1 so we'll put the value of x this over here you can see 3x so let us substitute x equals 7 that is 3 into 7 plus 11 so which is equal to 21 plus 11 or that gives me 32 now this is nothing but your right hand side of the equation and therefore we say that x equals 7 is a correct solution therefore the number is 7 now let us look at another example find a number such that one fourth of the number is 3 more than 7 look and read this very carefully it is 3 more than 7 it is not 3 times more than 7 I used to do that mistake quite often but over years now I have learned how to read carefully so let's make the equation as first step so one fourth of the number now we don't know the number so in this case let us say that the number is n for a change we have assumed x a lot many times so let us say that the number is n now one fourth of the number so which means that one fourth of n which means that I am dividing n by 4 right it is 3 more than 7 which means you have 7 and add 3 to that 3 more than 7 so this is what your equation is okay so we have when we simplify this we get n by 4 equals 10 now looking at this it looks pretty straightforward I just need to isolate this number n and that we can do by multiplying both 
LHS and RHS by 4. So in the next step we are multiplying n by 4 into 4 equals 10 times 4. So we are just multiplying both the left hand side and the right hand side by 4. When we do this, this 4 gets cancelled out and we have n equals 40. Which means that n equals 40 is the number that we are looking for. But as we discussed earlier, we should be checking the solution. So let's just check by substituting n by 4 that is putting 40 over n. So we have 40 divided by 4 which is equal to 10 which is nothing but your right hand side over here in this equation. right? Therefore n equals 40 is the number that we are looking for. So this was another example where we applied algebraic equation. Now let us look at one last example before we can call this chapter to a close. Raju's father age is five years more than three times Raju's age. Whose age we are talking about? We are talking about Raju's father's age is five years more than three times Raju's age. Now let us read further. Find Raju's age if his father is 44 years old. Now how do we make an equation from this? So we know that his father's age is 44 years. Now first thing is what will we assume as the variable? It's clearly told that find Raju's age. That is what we need to find out here. So we can say that Raju's age we will assume using a variable. We can say that let Raju's age be y years. So I'm just assuming another variable y. Now let's try to make the equation from this. So uh, Raju's father's age is 5 years more than 3 times Raju's age. So 3 times Raju's age is going to be 3 times y which is what we get. And we know that his father is 44 years old. But he is 5 years more than 3 times Raju's age. So if I just add a 5 here, this is what we get as the equation. Now if we solve this equation, we get y, which in turn will let us know what is Raju's age. So now let us use the transpose method to transpose this plus 5 from the left hand side to the right hand side, which will become minus 5. So we have 3y equals 44 minus 5 or we have 3y equals 39. Now in order to isolate this y, we divide both the left hand side that is this side and the right hand side by 3. So we get 3y divided by 33 equals 39 divided by 3. This gets cancelled out and 3 times 13 gives us 39. So we get y equals 13. This implies that Raju's age is 13 years. You can just write a statement saying that Raju's age is 13 years. Now how do we check the solution? Check the solution. So we can check the solution by simply substituting Raju's age that is 3 into y plus 5. We need to substitute y equals 13 in this equation. So we have 3 into 13 plus 5 which is 39 plus 5 or it is 44 which is nothing but the right hand side. right? So we can say that the left hand side equals right hand side for y equals 13. Therefore y equals 13 is the solution of the equation and it confirms that the solution that we have found is correct. So this was all about algebraic equations, forming e equations when we have a solution and application of equations to day to day life. With this we call a close to the chapter. See you in the next one.